got our waterfalls built from bottom to top. Now way up there, that top waterfall is only about 30 inches higher than the bottom here. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get a lot of interest and action out of this with low elevation. Down the bottom, I showed you guys this one. That rock in the center there is gonna disperse that water to the left and the right. We're gonna get water off of both of these rocks. Then we work our way through the pool. This is probably my favorite waterfall, similar to the one below, but we've got this big one in the center that's gonna have most of the water coming right here. There'll be some smaller rock work, and we're also gonna feed off to the left side. That's gonna be super cool coming around here and coming off the face. Now the way we did that was actually pitch this rock in towards the stream so that when the water rides up on it, it wants to come this way. And we got another little deep pool back behind it and we're kind of mimicking the same thing, a little bit different. That one there should be having quite a bit of water coming off here, but you see how it tilts to the left? It should feed water down this way and then onto this with some creative foam work and tightening things up there. And then up the top, this one's important because that right there is the kitchen window. We wanted to face the beginning of the waterfall towards that, so we completely turned it to the right. It's gonna be spilling right off that rock in between, also probably kicking off the rock to the left a little bit. And then back behind, we've got our spillway installed about four inches below the top of that rock so we can bury it. The water will look like it's welling up underneath this tree and starting this beautiful set of cascades. We've got just a few rocks to set on the outside for outcroppings over here. Some grading, hook up the lights, get the gravel in this and wash it down. We're gonna be firing this up very shortly. Stick around, you're gonna love this. This was such a great job for me because I got to see a water feature I built over 17 years ago and actually have the opportunity to come back and revamp it into what we do today. I wanna to show this to you guys so bad, but first we're gonna get Scott and his family, let the boys plug it in and see what they think. You ready to do this? I don't know, that's the question. <laughs> Who's turning it on, is it you Ben? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, come on. You know how to plug a plug in? Yeah. We're going right there. Want to help him out, Scott? Yeah. All right. Go on the rock, my daddy. Hi. <laughs> There's the ham. Good job. All right. Now we got to watch the water come down.
It's been almost five months since I've been back here. The grass has grown in, the landscape's starting to come in, and this thing looks fantastic. It fits so perfectly where this pond used to be. If you remember, there was a pond here with a retaining wall, kind of like a hard separation, not making it real interactive. When uh, Scott was deciding, let's redo the backyard, he's like, let's go pondless. He loved the waterfall and stream, but he didn't really we feel the need for fish anymore so we're like okay let's let's utilize this space and by moving this back creating more room for him to put this kitchen in this retaining wall actually helped raise the elevation and give us some more room to actually get some waterfalls up top here starting it underneath this evergreen tree just looks like a spring coming out from the landscape when you use rock like this you can really do some cool layering like using smaller boulders to then reveal what's behind it and you can see there's a lot of that going on here in the water feature what we also like to do is take these rocks angle them in a little bit and then use like just one edge of it to create a cascade riding up on there creating shallow pool areas i can definitely picture birds and dragonflies using this as a water source doing some bathing drinking out of here and then as you look up, there's more of that going on. We're mimicking this type of look throughout the water feature. Sloped in rocks, coming out to the landscape, almost looks impossible that it's actually holding water in here, but it is, because that liner goes all the way out to the edges. And now you can see after a few months what the plants are starting to do, which, which is exactly what we thought they would do, is actually grow over these rocks, blurring that line between the aquatic and terrestrial. So it should just look like it's all one seamless component here and that's what's going to give you a natural look in any water feature using those landscape plants to kind of mask some of the rocks because in the end of the day when this actually grows in and matures over the next couple seasons you'll start to see boulders disappear or just poke out of some of the plant life and you can actually see it start to happen already so initially you're going to see a lot of gravel because we need it as a substrate we need it to actually backfill behind the boulders give us places for water to chase down behind if it gets behind the rocks but utilizing those plants, we can then disguise that and really make it just kind of disappear where the boulders are just peeking out and the landscape comes into it, just giving it such a natural feel. We had a pond for about 18 years, one of Jack's original ponds, and we decided after we got married, we had kids, the area needed to be upgraded a little bit, and we tossed around the idea of putting another pond in, and we decided that a pondless waterfall would probably be best for our family. We'd still get the sound of the water, we'd still have the water feature, but we wouldn't have as much maintenance and upkeep with our schedules now with kids and everything that comes along with that, sports. and. One of the main things when we decided we were gonna do this was to have an outdoor kitchen area. So we need to make sure we had the room for that. The old pond had a stream and a waterfall that came up from the house. We loved the sound of the running water, so we knew we wanted that. Um, and we wanted to make sure everything fit in. And we wanted to add a little bit more grass area that came up to the pool. Um, before the pond was right near the patio and we didn't have a lot of green area, a little harder to get back to where the kids' play set is. So this allowed us to open everything up, give us a little more room, and then keep everything that we loved about having a water feature. It's a big difference between the old pond and this new water feature. The old pond was a lot of smaller rocks. They were stacked. They would move around a little bit. Kids would lean in to go to the fish and the rocks would tumble over. We'd have to put them back. Now this new pondless waterfall, large boulders, everything's set, nothing's moving anywhere. The kids are running up and down it, the dog's running up and down it. It's really getting a lot more use. My son was actually really disappointed when we were originally getting rid of the pond. And now he says almost every day that we're out back how much more he really loves this and how much more enjoyment they're getting out of it. We have the pool in the backyard and the kids love to use the pool. And now that we have the um, waterfall, they can get out of the pool, go play on the play set, go play in the waterfall, um, you know, run around up on the rocks. And then, you know, we can stay outside and have dinner and then they can go right back to playing again. So it kind of really fits our family now because we do spend so much time outside. <laughs>